Hello and welcome to the webinar for learning how to use Algodoo on the Smartboard SDX800. Now this is the first thing I'm going to see when we start up Algodoo. And the first thing I want you to do is go to the bottom left corner here and in the file menu you press toggle full screen. Now uh, the first thing Algodoo is going to ask you to do is go to the tutorials. Now, uh, I recommend you, if you have the time, to go through these tutorials as they will teach you pretty well how to use Algodoo. Uh, but for now, we're going to close that one. You can always find it again by pressing the question mark down there. You can always get back to help menu. But for now, I'm just going to give you some quick demos. So, the first thing I want you to do is go into the file menu and press new scene. And I'm going to show you how to make a car. Now, when we start, there's nothing for the car to go on, so you have to make a plane for it. And one way to do it is to select the plane tool in the toolbar here and just drag upwards with a pen. But a better way to do it, or a fun way, more fun way to do it, is using the sketch tool. And there's a sketch that looks like that. You go left, back, up to get a plane. Now the advantages of using the sketch tool is you can draw pretty much anything with it. With it. So let's make a wheel. Uh, I'm going to switch the red pen here and I'm going to make a wheel. And you'll see when I draw it, I get something red. Which is why I selected the red thing there. But you also see that the wheel isn't very round because I don't have a perfectly steady hand. So let's do that better. Erase it using the eraser and using, still using the sketch tool, I'll draw that again, but I keep my finger down rather than the pen down and you'll see it will morph into a perfect circle. So that's the nice thing about the sketch tool, you can draw almost anything with it. Switching now to green, just drawing a, some, a round circle inside that wheel, we get a hinge, and now we have something for the wheel to rotate. So let's just try this for a moment. We press play to get the simulation running. Nothing happens, but we can drag this wheel using the drag tool, select it there, and then I can just drag it either with my finger or with a pen. And you can see it just rotates freely, attached to the background. Switching back to the sketch tool, select the wheel by just encircling it like that. Press your finger and hold it, and then drag away a copy using the pen. So that's holding down with the finger and dragging with the pen. Now, uh, if you just drag the background with your finger, you'll see you move the camera. You can also zoom the camera using two fingers, like this. Uh, but let's make the, the, the body of the car now. As I said, the color of the things you draw follows the color you select here. But you can uncheck this button down there, and you instead get a random color. So if I now draw my car, you'll see it get a random color. Uh, which is a bit more fun, in my opinion. So now we have a car, we can throw it around a bit. But we want to mo make it move by itself. So we double click this hinge here and we get an options menu. One of the options is to turn it into a motor. So let's just check that and close this menu by just pressing that. The car disappeared, but we can get off it by panning a bit, maybe zooming out. Okay. Let's make sure it doesn't escape by drawing a second plane like that. So you have a car. Let's let again. Let's make a copy of that car. Remember, drag with your finger, clone using the pen. So there are two cars, and I can take one of these cars and I can scale it up using two of my fingers. So just draw it, drag it with two fingers, and I can scale, I can rotate, I can throw. Uh, the sketch tool also has a lot of other features, such as cutting. But to learn more about that, I recommend running the sketch tool tutorial down in the help menu. Okay, let's switch to something completely different. File, new scene, and we'll try this tool, the uh, brush tool. And uh, we'll draw, making sure all these are fixed, press the black button, and just draw a bowl like this. Now, a thing to notice is when we press play, nothing happens. It doesn't fall down, 
If I'm to draw something with red, however, it does fall down. So the difference is that this button means black is fixated. So if you have black and this is checked, it, it's fixed. Uncheck that, draw something in black, it falls like everything else. So it's a, just a shortcut to getting something fixed. Now let's remove that, just throwing away with the finger, and switch to the blue. Now just as like black means fixed, blue means water. So that's how easy to make water. Just draw something with the blue pen selected while that one is checked, that button is checked. Okay. Pause the simulation now. Switch to the sketch tool. And let's draw a box. Now just like you can draw a perfect circle with a sketch tool, you can also draw a perfect box by just press and holding something that's almost a box. Ah, now you see it turned into water because I forgot to switch color. So I switch back to red and I'll undo this. The way I undo it is just press the undo button here a few times. You can always undo everything you've done and redo it again with the redo button, which is very useful. So again, red button, box, red box. I'll double click this and there's a material menu. And on the material menu we can change the material for this box. So I uh, change it to wood and just click anywhere to deselect that and to, oh, to close the context menu. Uh, I clone this again, holding a finger, dragging like that, making sure only this one is selected. I double click, material, steel, tap to deselect. Now we press play, the wood floats, the steel ball sinks. And again, you can just erase using your eraser like that. Um, okay. So much for that. Let's switch to something completely different. Let's go into File, New Scene, and let's set the scene for doing something with optics. So double click the background, uh, turn off the clouds, if any, and then switch the slider down to black. Just get a nice black background. Now switch to the laser tool and start by drawing a red laser. Then a green laser, blue, and then finally, not black, but a white laser. Now for this scene to be something interesting, we need a prism. Now for a prism to be good, we need, to, we need it to have a straight edges. So how do we draw straight edges? Simple. Press and hold a finger on the background, and using the sketch tool, you draw something with a perfect straight edge. Lift your finger, down again. And there, we have a nice prism. But it's not really a good prism since it doesn't let any light through. But we can fix it. We double tap it, click the appearance menu with a little rainbow in front, and here we can, can change the color of it. But most importantly, we can change the opacity of it, making it translucent. And voila, we have a prism. Now, you now you notice that the different Colors of light refract differently because they're of different wavelengths, and the white light there uh, makes a nice rainbow. Just get rid of these lasers here, and we're left with this nice Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon cover. Um, yes, and I think that pretty much sums up the Algodoo for the SPX 800 uh, webinar. And uh, if you want to learn more about Algodoo, just go into the help menu using that question mark there and run the tutorials. Uh, they're very easy to follow. And uh, yes, I hope you enjoy using Algodoo on the SPX 800. Thank you for watching.